Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to host your website on localhost so you can check the changes and updates uh, immediately while you are working on editing the code. Now a lot of you guys have been telling me that some of the websites that are free on my github they're not working, they are showing a white page. That is because some of them are built using React and what you do is you just double click on the index at the files and of course it will show you a white page. What you need to do I will show you right now and you will be able to host any website on localhost without uh, having any coding knowledge. Now the first thing you do is go to ZAMP to download. I'm going to leave the link on the description and uh, you can download any of these three. Now click on the link download and uh, it should be downloading soon. Let me see. Okay. I have it already installed on my computer, but uh, just to show you the process, it's simple process like installing any application. So you should be able to do this yourself as well. Okay, click yes. And uh, just click next for the next steps and you will have it installed. After you install it, you can go to the C drive and you will see XAMPP here double click and find the folder called hdocs. This is where you add the files in order to host them and they will show on localhost. As you can see here, I have a lot of zip files. This is all my projects. I work on them and I keep them all here. If I want to work on something, I simply unzip and go to Visual Studio Code and open that file. I keep uh, the folder open always on Visual Studio. Simply go open folder, click hdocs and you have everything here. It doesn't matter that there is these uh, zip files because uh, once I want to switch to a new project, I just zip this one and unzip the next. Now to see the website live, you can simply open the XAMPP control panel and you start the first module. As you can see here it's offline right now. Once you click uh, start it will be online. Okay as you can see here and uh, to show you how to check the changes let's try to add one more button. Here we have three buttons and we're gonna add a new one. Now I'll copy this uh, button code, add it and let's call it. I have it on auto save but you can uh, simply click save all or auto save. You probably know that. Okay now to see the updates always you need to hold Control shift and click reload or use uh, F5. As you can see here, we added the button and we can also make other changes and while we are uh, checking the updates live. Now, uh, this is a website I did for my project. Also wanted to talk about that. Uh, it's called King of Memes. If you want to go check it out, I will leave the link on the description. 
and uh, you can uh, get your bag hopefully uh, we will do good in the future and you can get some uh, good returns so this is it guys uh, i hope this helps also if you need uh, any services from me feel free to reach out on telegram uh, any websites, Web3 tokens, token contracts, anything, you will have it. And also I provide fast delivery. Uh, my de deliveries, especially for websites, meme coins and things like this, simple stuff I deliver in a few hours. So anything you need, reach out to me on Telegram and uh, I'll make it happen. Thank you and see you in the next video.